Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to more Air Force Delta Strike. All right, so we need to head off to our next briefing. We got to go with one of the other two elements. And I have a cat flop around in my lap. You know what? It's time to take Jamie out. Good boy, Speedy. Oh, if it isn't Jamie. You haven't been around for a while. Look who's talking. You're the one who hasn't been around. Well, whatever. Another one of those missions only we can do, right? You got it. You old coots are the only ones that can handle this. <laughs> the other two aren't old. <laughs> Just let me hear the details. Amelia, read us our orders. Yes, ma'am. Delta Squadron First Element is to be dispatched immediately. Escort the train escaping from Area NV-53 to our territory. That is all. A train? You want us to escort a train? Would we look like the cavalry? Uh, yeah, Jamie does, in fact. Please, Rick. The lives of a lot of officers, soldiers, and civilians are hanging in the balance here. Amelia, let's hear the sit rep. The Army has temporarily seized the Ariana Railroad to move survivors and civilians out of the ruins of Area NB-53. So it's an evacuation train. Or is it a refugee train? Almost all military units have been relocated, and the next train should be the last. However, Area NB-53 is already under enemy control. It's a pretty good bet the enemy will be targeting this one. It's an extremely dangerous situation. Commodore Martin and the mayor of Lugert have been directing the operation and should be on the last train. Huh. Can't let the enemy attack a train full of big shots, I guess. So you want us to be the escorts, eh? Yes. I mean... You have a prop plane, and Lieutenant Levine has a veto. You're perfect for the job. But my plane can't fly slow enough to cover a train. All right. Let Lieutenant Campbell fly on ahead as an outrider. Sending the first element out there gives us the greatest chance of success. You guys are it, I'm afraid. Oh, man. We can't let those passengers get slaughtered like sheep. Especially not the big wings. Do a good job out there. Roger that, Princess. Now head out and escort that last train out of Area NB-53. We're counting on you. Right. Let's get going. Boy, Jamie's always just itching to go. And I love it. He's wearing an old school flak jacket, pilot cap, goggles, the works. I love freaking Jamie's. Awesome. And then Rick, you know, he's got a space suit. And then he's got a space suit. Oh, he got some G suits. He doesn't need a G suit. Because watch what he's flying. Call sign Anaconda 1. Like I said, his uh, call sign is Shogun. Uh, it's freaking sick. Alright, so I, I backed off. We can just hit start and go right to this. Speedy, you lay down, dude. Alright, so we're going to use Jamie. I ain't using the mother, too. But we start off with the greatest fighter plane ever made, and it's the correct model too, the P-38L series. Oh! So, uh, I'm gonna nerdgasm for a minute. So you'll get missiles with these things. You get the machine gun pod milked in the nose of the uh, pilot canopy in the middle there. You can probably see them sticking up the front. Uh, looks like this one only has two machine guns, which is WRONG! There should be four 50 cals sticking out the front and a 20 millimeter cannon just below them centralized in that pod. This thing had some of the greatest firepower of all of World War II. This series of the plane could actually fly at about 60 miles an hour on the deck pulling perfect circle turns. It could fly that low speed, but it had a top speed of around 400 some odd miles an hour. Could fly higher lower and almost faster than anything in the war and the L series was given hydraulic assists in the wings on the ailerons and on the elevator on the rear so ailerons are the things that make the plane roll 
and it's in like a circle, you know, to the left and right. And then the elevator is what's on the rear, which makes it go up and down. So it had hydraulic assist, meaning in every other plane, a pilot puts, say, five pounds of pressure on the left side of its stick. You know, turns the stick to the left, puts five pounds of pressure on it. That's then five pounds of pressure put out on the wing. With hydraulic assist, he could put one pound of pressure to the left, and would put ten pounds of pressure on the wing, on the aileron. That's how easy it was to fly this thing. Also, the Allison engines were reworked by... It wasn't Doolittle, it was... Uh, What's his name? He was, he was like an aviation icon back in the day. Oh, I can't think of his name, but he was like a rich guy. He was basically a civilian-based uh, uh, tech. That, oh God, I can't think of his freaking name. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, somebody's going to know in the chat. Anyways, he was out in an air base in the Pacific, and he was watching the P-38s come in. And they were all coming in literally on fumes. Like the engines were, they barely had enough fuel to go out and complete their mission and return to base. So he started looking at the Allison engine, and you notice that the uh, uh, the magneto, I think it was on it, was set incorrectly. Or, or he found a way to set the magnetos to where the engines would still produce the same power with using less fuel. So the pilots would come back, they'd have like maybe one to two minutes of fuel left before they'd all have to get on the runway and taxi in and all that. I mean, literally they had minutes of fuel left. And you got like, you know, 20 planes coming in all need to get on the runway and taxi. It takes some time to do that because you got to clear the runway off so the next plane can come in and all that. And get in line to do that all. If they were starting to come back to base, they'd have 15 to 20 minutes of fuel left. Um, God, this guy was like the Tony, like the Anthony Stark from the Marvel series back in the day. God, I almost had his his name like popped up for just a second in my brain. I cannot believe I can't think of. It. Anyways, let's jump on our plane. Nah, we gotta go fix this sucker up. Okay, do you have a new plane for me? Okay, we don't have no plane. Do we have a special weapon for me? Okay, so I can get bombs for it too. I, I you know. No, we don't really don't need bombs because we got the rockets. No, god dang it. Oh my gosh! Back out, jeez. Okay, let's go paint it. Modify. Let's put a night camo scheme on this sucker. Oh wait, other color. Oh, I have no money. Ugh. All right, let's go make some money then. Wait, can I go here to take off? Yeah. Okay. Let's take out the old P-38. Honestly, I think there's like three World War II aircraft, and I think the P-38 is like the best one. Oh, wait. It's right here. That's where we're going. Son of a biscuit! Alright. There's a trick to fighting jets with a World War II plane. It ain't fun, first of all. Secondly, you gotta hug the ground. <laughs> Come on, Speedy. Hop up, buddy. Jeez. I'm trying to fly this thing. You're in the lap. Crank up the throttle. Radar signal ahead. Look at this view. Oh, this place is sick! I don't know, but we can't allow them to remain. Nomad, request bandits court. Look at the in freaking uh, They're view. heading for oh, three one. Perfect. Today's op zone. This is not Lead. Let's take them now. All anaconda units. Fan out and wipe them out. Watch your altitude. I will be flying first person exclusively on this like this. Oh, this thing doesn't wobble around as much as the other planes. Yeah, this thing's got high mobility as it should. So, they're going to do a majority of the fighting in this. We're going to hit for a moment. I have no, no afterburner. 
Right. So what you have to do is you literally have to snipe in this thing, and you do that from the ground. Quit messing around or we're done. By Anaconda 3. Anaconda 2, your altitude's too low. Oh, shut up. How about I buy you a drink? You can't oh, I'm sorry. Way beyond you. I can't remember the range exactly of the uh, machine guns. Shooting as you fly by usually works pretty well. Okay. Oops. How about I buy you a drink? Yak 38. That's a fake plane. <laughs> I think. Don't hold me to it. Yeah, this there's not really a lead for three. planes. We are the advance guard of a new era. Enemy in radar range. Those are some pretty solid spears. Anaconda 2, your altitude is too low. Don't mind me, just passing through. Fox 2. Fox 2. Fox 2 by Anaconda 3. Fox 2 by Anaconda 2. Fox 2 by Anaconda 2. Cowboy BTPAF. They always run. Enemy plane hit. A couple hits. Just try to Fox 2. Enemy in gun range. Fox 2 by Anaconda 3. Anaconda 3, your altitude's too low. All we have to do is hit him a lot. Non-stop. Isn't your altitude too low? This is an endurance contest. This sucks. Nothing but slow ones out here. What you can do is stand off and make the freaks an air fight. Getting a little sick of this. Enemy yeah! <laughs> But yeah, I'm just like hosing him with a machine gun going for an ammo and a gunsman overheat, so you know, whatever. But hey, I got one! <laughs> Sucker got shot down by a freaking P-38, baby! Keep that up. This is why I wish in uh, Over G Fighters you could get a uh, freaking World War II aircraft. Because man, I used to freaking go nuts on people with just machine guns in the game. We can't let them just over us. I do it with a MIG, where I got like no ammo. Enemy in radar range. This is actually not a bad cruising speed. I'm at what? 7,300 feet. Doing about 370 miles an hour cruising. This is actually fairly accurate, actually. You're not going to hit them from this range. And then the rockets. They're just dumb rockets. Come on, that baby yak. Oh! No, 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 no! Scumbag, I'm gonna come at you with like a spider monkey. Don't mind me, just passing through. Once I get on him, I got him. Doesn't anybody want to try to fly faster than me? Yeah! You put the guns on him, man. They're done. Alright, so we got to the next mission. I only used up one rocket. But yeah, these these freaking guns on these th this these World War II aircraft, you put the guns on them, man, they're freaking dumb. <laughs> Look at that beauty! Ooh! So now let's go escort the train. We got full health. Now let's go back to base. We are good to go. I probably should have saved it, but we should be okay. I was thinking about flying third person, but I don't know. But I do know there's two other World War II aircraft. I know of one of them. I cannot remember for the life of me what the third one is. I think it might be a Spitfire, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Alright, no full throttle. All units. Escort allied freight train to area NV-52. Yeah, somebody on our tail. Eliminate any potential threat. Target oh, hold on. Ahead. Closing in. Stop the train ahead. Fire if it doesn't comply. Ready some warning shots. Fire! Huh? We're under attack. Speed up! We've got a long way to go. The train speed is increased. Who does he think he is? No more warning shots. Yes, sir. Mayday! Mayday! We're under enemy fire. Get rid of them. This is Lancer Two. I am in position. Starting prep. Ronicon Two. You're out. Damn. The train's damaged. Ah, it's only mine. 
Stars out here. We gotta do something. They're gonna mow us down. Let's blast. Man, you got a freaking P38 giving you escort. Shut the frig up. You are good to fire at any time. All units out of the danger zone. Oh man, I got the rocket still. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Now might be a good time to put a little damp on their enthusiasm. Nomad to all Anaconda units. Guys, play so sexy. I don't say that much about vehicles, but it's sexy. Go on ahead and clear the rails. Like porn on my screen. Ah, watch it, buddy. Okay, they got Rick's got the vehicles on the top. I got. Crap. We have superiority. Continue the assault. Rush hour. Like Raise altitude. Enemy in radar range. I can go tearing by you as many times as I please. Their attacks are weakening. Enemy in radar range. The blows rock up. Enemy in radar range. The rock ball has been removed. This is no time to be pissing your pants! It looks pretty bad. Rush hour. Raise altitude. Crush any resistance. Rocket launched by Anaconda 1. Enemy in dumb range. <laughs> Got one over the rocket! Yes! <laughs> Yes, sir. If there'd been any left, we'd have been done for. Counting one, two, three of them. Get them out of there immediately. Working on it. Slow moving bogey. That's no bandit. Enemy in gun range. Enemy fighter down by Anaconda One. Enemy fighter. <laughs> It's not like we can call for backup or anything either. Man, these rockets are freaking sick. They got some range on them too. Look at this. Oh. I could gun this thing down. Anaconda two, your altitude. Daga, daga, daga. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Anaconda one confirmed. It's a hit. Can we go any faster? Impossible. Any more speed and we'll shoot right off the rails. Like what? Do something. Put me in for the townspeople, okay? We gotta do is make it. Yes. So the advance cars been wiped out, huh? Damn it, we gotta take care of this. We can't let them get through. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Anaconda One confirmed. Fire! Rocket on target. There's nothing left on the radar screen. Yeah! Mission Man, that's the first time I've done that mission the first try. Last time I did this game, I remember I was having a hard time with this, but I'm so much better at flying thanks to War Thunder. We got this, baby. Yeah! Take out the World War II plane and freaking show up all these little scrubs in their jets. <laughs> Scrub and dub dub! God, that plane is so good. Oh, I love the World War II plane so much. Jamie, that's why Jamie's my favorite. Oh, man, that felt so good to play that again and get that, do that good right off the bat. Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> nice work, Jamie, Rick, Alex. You did well today. That was one pain in the butt job. Can't you give us something easier? Some bitches we can just breeze through. <laughs> so he's complaining all the time. If you want that type of work, you have to start flying normal planes. And that goes for all three of you. Oh, come on, princess. Real men fly prop fighters, don't you? 
There's nothing like being that close to the clouds. What are you babbling about? Mankind has a mission, and it's to test the limits of physical speed. Speed is everything. And what's the best airborne fighting strategy? Hit and run, of course. <laughs> what a waste of precious fuel. Environmental groups would have your head on a platter. Why, you... You're asking for it, Jamie. Yeah, you bet I am. Well, with those two aside, I was wondering if I could fly a standard plane. I wouldn't mind. No, that won't work either. You're the only one in the squadron that can pound a VTOL, so that's what we need you to do. <laughs> so that means I'll be in this element for quite a while, right? There's nothing wrong with the VTOL. It's like the same thing as a regular plane, they're just not supersonic. Unless you get an M35, and then you got one. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one that can work with Jamie, you know. Gotcha. Well, I gotta take what I can get, and I don't mind anyway. Uh, shouldn't somebody stop them? Nah, they won't hurt each other. <laughs> that may be so, but... You wouldn't believe it, but deep down they're good friends. Well, it's about time for me to get some rest. Alright, good night then. And you'd think this war was a jolly party for the way this element acts. Can I get in plane? Yes! Just got the new planes in now. There's one on the hangar right that looks right for you. Yes! Let me go get a new plane. I want a Mustang. Yes, we got the P-51D. It's worse in every way, I think, to the P-38. But I'm buying it anyways because it's a Mustang. <laughs> Wait, what do you say? If it's a prop plane you want, this one's a masterpiece. Look no further. We'll find a better one out there. Uh, my P-38 is better. I hate to say it there, the buddy. The only thing... Now, don't get me wrong. The Mustang is a very fine plane. It's an excellent hit-and-run, boom-and-zoom fighter plane with high altitude performance and a good armament, but its main feature was its humongous fuel load that it kicked. Those wings are basically fuel tanks. The a fuselage behind the pilot, a fuel tank. It's nothing but a flying fuel tank. If you just breathe on it the wrong way, it catches on fire. Oh, I got a love-hate relationship with this plane. I love the plane, but you got to get it up to high altitudes to really get it to, to the secondary supercharger to wind up on it, especially in the flight sim. Not so much this game, but in the flight sim. Now, technically, this should be a uh, faster plane than the, than the Lightning. We'll be able to compare it here. Same speed, lower acceleration, which makes sense because this is a twin engine. Way lower, and the mobility's worse. So why the frig would I ever want to fly this thing? Like seriously, why would I want to fly 200 fewer hit points? It's a worse mobility, which is huge. Now it's a smaller plane, which is nice, but nah, nah. I don't think I'm going to use the Mustang, really. <laughs> now, the guns are a little spaced out, a little wider, which is a plus, but I'd rather have all the guns mounted right in the nose where you just concentrate the firepower. Anyways, enough gushing over a P-38 Lightning. My gosh, Spets. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.